Hey guys and welcome to another speed build. Today's build is a garden, like a community garden slash park build and it was inspired by the new stuff pack that came out today which is romantic garden stuff. Um, the pack is kind of small so I really didn't feel like I needed to do a whole overview of it. It's definitely um, more like builds and decoration objects than anything else so I really didn't feel like I needed to go over it there are a few outfits and things but I'm sure we'll see those in gameplay so there was really no point um, basically I really wanted to do like a ruins build because I still haven't done one of those and I thought that it would be kind of cool to combine the ruins with the new romantic garden stuff so that is exactly what I did uh, this lot does not have a bathroom. Um, I did put some of those bushes down and it has a grill, it has a pool, it has uh, park benches, and it has monkey bars and then the rest is pretty much just like decoration. Oh there is a like a not a bonfire pit but like a campfire pit so there's definitely stuff you can do here. I just thought that it would be a nice romantic lot that you could take your sims on dates or maybe for like wedding events you could just move some things around and put in a wedding arch or like if you wanted your sim to propose or something like that. Here I'm just working on, um, it's a pool so it's not like a fountain or anything but I wanted it to look kind of natural so I put lots of rocks around it and lots of plants. I wanted this to be very whimsical and very plant filled so there are lots and lots of plants around. Um, I was kind of inspired by the movie Hercules from Disney. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it but they uh, they go to like these, like him and Meg go to like this one place where there's like the singing statues and stuff and there's like lots of fountains and statues and flowers and it was really beautiful. So I was kind of inspired by that and went with like this kind of overgrown ruins type thing that was converted to like a national park or something. So there are some ruins around still but like there is more modern things like a grill and a wishing well which is debatably modern. It's definitely not ancient ruins but it is debatably modern-ish. So this lot is in Windenburg. It's the one empty lot um, that comes like empty with the game over by the Von Haunt, the Von Haunt Estate and it is a 40 by 30 lot and I wanted it to look like there was a building here at one point but obviously it's been kind of broken down over time so I did mix the ruin pieces with like the regular wall pieces and obviously there's no roof and I just put lots of plants around, lots of trees. Uh, I did use the movie hangout tree with like the lanterns and stuff in here as well and I put those stairs up to that door which obviously it's not functional it's just for looks alone and I thought it looked kind of neat and I did try to do most of the lights like kind of hidden throughout the build. Uh, I actually forgot to put lights in the second half of the build but I went back and did it before I uploaded it so you can get it with the new lights um, that I put in after so that is in there if you get what I'm saying and uh, this is on the gallery it's called Ancient Ruins Park I think yes and if you can't find it by the name, you can search hashtag ToriSims1 or my username, which is just ToriSims1 on the gallery. It is just like my YouTube name, except with the number one after it. Um, yeah. Uh, you can see here I'm working on the garden. I started out a lot smaller and then expanded 
it out and you can see I put like the statue there in the middle and I just really wanted it to look lush and overgrown so I did that in a few parts I kind of go back and forth and add things here and there um, I put things down kind of for general placement and then I finish them up later there you can see I used the arch for like the front entrance to the ruins I think you can walk around through several parts as well but that's like the main entrance here you can see I have some broken columns where I put um, some plants and I think that it looks really pretty with the plants around it and there's the movie hangout tree that's the only one I put down but I thought that the lanterns kind of lended themselves to that more whimsical look uh, and here I am utilizing these ruins pieces just trying to make it look like it had once been like a cohesive building I had a lot of fun like using those pieces because I've never really used them before I don't think I've used them at all before so that was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed the new pieces that came with the romantic garden stuff uh, there weren't a lot of things that came with it but I really like the items that we did get I think that they are definitely nice if you're into building and landscaping I think if you're mostly in like into gameplay and stuff then you might not like this pack as much it did come with the wishing well which is pretty cool and you can use that for gameplay and it came with um, some like clothing items but not very many but if you're if you're into building and landscaping I really recommend it it's only ten dollars and you got some really neat stuff uh, I really liked these little lattice flower thingies you can see I'm putting them like on the columns and stuff down here or not not the columns the the ruins and stuff down here I think that they're really cool I had a lot of fun overlapping them and making them look kind of like overgrown kind of like an ivy sort of thing uh, there are lots well there's not lots but there are a few new fountains and this big fountain is actually interactable as well like you can sit on it and splash in it and make a wish and stuff so that is really cool uh, here's the more modern area I do take away one of those grills so you only have one grill here but I did leave the benches and here I was just check checking out the new fence um, and yeah and I do expand to the outside as well so the whole lot will be very colorful and full of flowers by the time that I'm done so that item is actually the wishing well that like actually grants wishes so I just placed it over there in the corner um, well it's kind of in the middle not really in the corner but so if you haven't seen that there are videos like up that you can go and watch what it does I'm sure I'll come across it in my gameplay as well but I didn't uh, actually play or test it in this video but you can wish for things like money and happiness and all of that grand stuff so that's pretty cool and then this is like a little alcove like thingy I was gonna put a statue there but I ended up putting a bench because I thought it was a little more uh, romantic like you could come on a date here with your sim and they could go there for a little peace and quiet and I put again lots and lots of flowers around it and just tried to make it look you know pretty <laughs> I guess that's like really what I was trying to do Again, here I am using those new little, like, over, I don't even know what they're called. They're like little lattice bits, but they come down from the roof and, like, overhang. And I did them on the wall just to make it look like there's ivy growing, like, down the, the, the tops of it, if that makes sense. And then I also went around and put ivy growing up the wall because these are ruins and I'm sure that there would be lots of plant life growing on them at this point because they've been there quite a while so I went around all of the wall sections and did that and just made it look more cohesive and it look it looks more realistic to me this way because like I said these walls have been here for a long time so there would obviously be lots of ivy on them um, I also put in another little stair piece and 
I'm just going around and adding in little bits and bobs. I used that statue, which I think is my favorite statue that came with this pack. I think it's so pretty. It reminds me of like like the Michelangelo statue, statues that you can see. Uh, when I went to the Louvre, there were like lots of those really beautiful statues of like women in the like the togas and stuff and I just it reminds me of Europe so I really 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 like that and then I just did a little flower bed here I really like those blue like really tall blue flowers um they come in other colors too but I really I think I only use the blue if I remember correctly um and there are all the bathroom bushes because I didn't want to like sully this lot by putting a toilet on it. So I figured if your Sims really, really needed to go, I'd put a few bushes around the back so that they could go there. And I hid them behind the wall so it wouldn't like affect the environment inside and make it like stinky and gross because the bushes like get the green smelly stuff going on them after your Sims go pee there. And plus, uh, that way, if your Sims are here on a date, they can always sneak away for a cheeky woohoo over in the bushes and yeah <laughs> then I came across the actual columns that came with the game and so I went around and put those all around and just little places that made it look good I tried to use this big rose bush but it just looked ridiculous I think that would be pretty cool in like an Alice in Wonderland type theme build but it just was not working for me here so I just made a little flower patch with all the flowers that I've been using like everywhere else throughout the build. Um, I used a lot of purple, blues, and pinks, but I did also throw in some like reds here and there and like those obviously like those orange flowers. So it's it's just very bright and very colorful. And here I am starting to move to the front area. I just put another tree and this is basically just all going to be garden. There is like a little path that will lead out to the uh, fire pit over here, but essentially it's all just going to be flowers pretty soon. Oh, and while I'm doing nothing really of importance, because it's basically all just garden stuff that you can see, um, anyways, I get a lot of questions about the music that I use in my videos, and I thought I addressed it before, but maybe not. Um, my music is from, I think he's an Australian-based music creator, I'm pretty sure pretty sure he's from Australia. Um, anyways, his name is Pogo and he just creates mixes off of all kinds of things, but he uses a lot of uh, Disney music, which I'm sure you've noticed in my builds. I have a lot of Disney kind of music and that is from him. He is on YouTube. I have his channel linked in every video that I play his songs and I don't list what songs I use because I use basically all of them. Uh, he's really, really brilliant, really talent talented, and I love, love, love his music. So if you're interested in him, you can always go down to my description box and click click the link to his channel or uh, search his username, which is just Pogo on YouTube, and go ahead and give him some love because he's very talented and he deserves all of the credit because his music is just fantastic. So I just thought I would go ahead and say that while you're watching me do some garden stuff. coming to the end of the build we're gonna go into screenshots here in a couple of seconds but I thought that I would pop back on here and let you guys know that this lot is on the gallery it is called ancient ruins park you can search that or search my username which is just Tori Sims one on the gallery I hope you guys enjoyed this build thanks for watching and as always I'll talk to you in my next one bye guys